So I think that, um, I look, I think this is a hotbed issue. I think plenty of people say, well, they get their school paid for. You know, me personally, Gary, thinks it's complete horseshit. I think every college athlete should be paid, period, end of story. I think the university ex- exploit it aggressively. Um, it feels very communistic. Um, I'm not a fan of it. I think that the athletes should be paid, and uh, that's how I feel about it. Very, very simple, very, very binary. Um, but I think it's a taboo issue. Like, I have a lot of friends that get mad at me when we drink a glass of wine on this issue, and they're like, but they get their college paid for, this, that, and the other thing. To me, it's just economics. Like they're you know they're making trillions of dollars on these kids' performances. These kids are being treated like professional athletes. These kids are not going to class. These guys are practicing forty. The, the, the practice schedules of these professional athletes, especially at the tiers where the TV deals are, college men's college basketball, you know, women's college basketball, men's college football, like you know, I mean, softball on ESPN now. Like they keep big, building bigger and bigger schedules. Like. <laughs> they're being treated like professional athletes and they are not being compensated that way. And an unbelievable majority of them never make it to the professional level mm-hmm. and ever are able to cash in on all the dollars they drop in the university. So I, I think they should be paid. I'm very, I'm, I'm pretty emotional about it for them, but it is what it is. There's plenty of things that upset me. Do you have any thoughts on that? Or? I don't know. Uh, like, I don't think I agree with you as binary as yep. you describe it and yep. as straightforward, but I think I could easily be weighted that way, but yeah. I look at it as, uh, you know, university is, is primary number one, needs to be a place of higher education. I didn't go to college. Yep. I wish I did. Yep. Um, I'm fortunate that I get to make my living, yep. you know, that I actually made it, and I'm making a living driving, yep. but, um, you know, I, I, it concerns me, like, if they, if they set up a way to, you know, start paying football players um, the effects of the 99% of them that don't make it professionally and what they did during their time in college when they were making $50,000 a year yep. playing professional college football yep. and not going to class because that's not because they were making their living and now all of a sudden they didn't make it, you know, and, and so I'm a little worried of some but of the cause the problem, and effect there. The problem is, from my standpoint, that's a romantic point of view because those same kids are not going to ca- class anyway. They're not pumping out of the University of Michigan and going on to have these illustrious careers because of their education. I mean, first of all, I have my own problems with college to begin with. Yeah. Like, forget <laughs> professional athletes. Like, the person that goes to Michigan and leaves with a degree, reality in today's marketplace is a whole other issue. We don't have enough time for this because I can get really emotional yeah, yeah. about this. The, so the, thing that, that, the thing that's absolutely dead on that you're so right about and that is like the cornerstone of the whole argument is they are making hand over fist. Guys, it is, the SEC that is, uh, contract yes. with ESPN, the, you know, these rules were implemented in time when these universities were not making anywhere close to these dollars. It's become any, you know, shokhar shokhar of meri. It's a great Russian saying. It's very basic. It's like everything is great when it's balanced. From 1961, the amount of col- money colleges were making on these athletes, more in the universe karma balance fairness today. I mean, you have a star play. Do you mean Johnny Manziel, Texas A&M jerseys were sold? Mm. I mean, I get it. Anyway. <laughs>